So Brandon already got here. And tell me what you did, Brandon. I locked myself out. Yeah, barely got here. Just got here. Freaking got that lean. <laughs> that thing got you fucked up. The hole on the outside is messed up. Uh, oh, you know what? Oh, that's a, this is a good idea. The crane. Yeah, the crane. The claw. The claw. Yes. Uh, got it? I think I got it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get it work. All right, so here's my setup. Right here, the lines, simple as that. Little calibers, brackets, all that good stuff. Breaking it down more. So, got the hydro here. Got an elbow right here for the AN fitting the lines. And then, goes off to here until T. And this T go to caliber. From the caliber, we have mounted up with the kit right here that I got from Villains. Shout out to them. Hook it up. And this works with the stock caliber, so we'll be good. To get started, I already took everything apart. It's a mess. I'm going to take out the seat first. Alright, so I got the seat out. My real bride. Haters say it's fake. I let them hate. So it gives me extra room for this. So I'm gonna mount the bra the hydro right here. I'm gonna have to cut this and this and move this harness out of the way. All right, so I've got all this stuff cleared out right here. So this is where it's gonna mount up. Front bolt's gonna be right here and the rear bolt's gonna be right here. Accidentally made a hole. My bad. Should be fine though. So this is how it's gonna go mocked up. So the front hole is gonna line up there. And then the rear I have to make a hole there. What's up, bro? So good thing you're here, big boost. If uh, you weren't here, then I don't know what to do. Let's go. Hey, can you give me half? Yeah, dude. Hey, you think you can pass me the drill? Yeah, dude. Oh, fuck. <laughs> dude, really? It's the motherfucking Nico Double G. Snoop Dogg! I am officially mounted. So, to the transmission tunnel, I mean, it's a little eh, flimsy side to side, but for back and forth, it's pretty damn sturdy. I ain't going nowhere. So. Yeah, good to go. On to the back. So now we're gonna have to take off the wheel, take off the brake caliber, take off the hub, take all that stuff off so we can put the bracket to mount the dual caliber thing. Don't have the right size socket for that. It's a 36 millimeter. My biggest is 32. So, to the Batmobile. Two step, two step. Okay, got the parts. And Jordan's butthole is puckered because there's lots of undercovers. And his exhaust is loud as fuck. <laughs> All right, finally got the fucking hub off. So when you put this kit in, you're gonna have to eliminate this. So yeah, it's all gone. Out, slide hammer. Yeah, you have a slide hammer, it that helps. Okay, now you grab your villain's kit. This one's gonna slide in right here. Remember, heat shield. Eliminated, not gonna use it no more. Bolts through from the back. Clamp this, put this back in spot. This is where your new caliber is gonna go. And then as for the original one, it stays there. But before you put the rotor back on, this spaces this out. 
also, also, you're gonna have spacers. So you have a total of four, two for each side, and they're gonna space out the stock caliber a little bit forward. So everything's getting pushed a little bit forward. Okay, so another thing, I had to do one more slight modification. This right here hits right there so it doesn't fit right. So you have to grind it down just a little bit. Okay, so got done grinding it. So if you can see, it's on, it's flush, there's no hitting, so we're good. Okay, all done with this setup. It wasn't too bad, kind of weird stuff. When you put this on, you need to slide on the rotor and the caliber at the same time because no way you can put on the caliber and then slide this in. They both have to slide in at the same time. So obviously you have to have the stock one off, slide this on, and it's a very little gap to thread these on for the front, the top and bottom. So it was kind of a little bit of pain, but it's, it's doable. And then with the open wrench, tie them all the way down and you're good. As for this, you put on the spacer and then the bolts fits perfect. Enough thread, everything's good, seems safe, it's all legit. Everything else fits perfect. So now to the other side. Skip to the other side, already got it on. So this side is done. This side is done, so now it's time to run the lines. Okay, running the lines, I'm gonna take out the stock e-brake because the original mount is no longer there. So I'm gonna completely remove this. So I'm gonna put on two bolts, two bolts here, pull this thing through. There it is, line. Then goes off to the T to each side. Another note, I'm going to use the eBay Master Cylinder for now. I'm going to eventually upgrade to a Willwood. This is not the ASD, as you can see. I would have got the ASD. The only thing is it didn't have the color. This thing kind of goes with the steering wheel, so I liked it. But overall, you're better off getting the ASD. It is roughly around the same when you upgrade to the Willwood. You can see done with the hole, fed the line through, put insulation right here. So around the edges over time, it will cut the line. So I put a piece of insulation and put some electrical tape just to hold this in place. So there's no issues there, but I will be checking on it. So now we have this big ugly hole. I'm not gonna put in the center console. So I'll cut out a carbon fiber piece. It's gonna go like so. Solid. All right, we are done. I got the seat back in, put everything all back together. It is good to go, good for a test drive. But that's for the part two. We're going to Mexico and we're gonna test out my hydro and everybody else's hydro that they just installed. So it's gonna be pretty lit. Stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Don't leave, Sing it, bitch. Don't leave. Get it. Oh boy. Niggas. Right now. Get her big boots. <laughs> Ladies!